I'm single, I'm young, I want to have fun. She's having a hot girl Euro summer. Letitia, welcome to Friends with Benefit. Thank you for having me. <laughs> time this episode goes live, we will have already done the meet and greet, but the reason that we're here today is to discuss this kit. This kit is officially available now in Sephora, in store and online. So if you haven't already picked one up, make sure you grab one mm. now. You chose 24-hour brow setter as your product. Yeah. Why did you kind of choose this one as your favourite benefit product? If I could only choose one makeup thing to do, it would just be my brows because I feel like that's the center of your face. Like when people look at your face, they're looking at your eyes first. Yeah. Eyes first, you know. So I've just always noticed that when my brows are done, people treat me nice. And I always... <laughs> They treat you nice. <laughs> That's so good. And then obviously in the kit, we've also got Benny Tint and Bad Girl Bang. So Benny Tint was Deja's pick and then Bad Girl Bang was Kat's. Speaking of Deja, what is she really like as a sister? As a sister? You can spill the tea. She's a bit crazy. Yeah. Like, it's hard to say, but Deja's really into her Fortnite. I don't know if mum said it before, but she's a very big game girl. And so sometimes I'll go over to my parents' house and I'll just hear her screaming from her room like literally yelling I don't even think people understand how loud she is I always yell out I'm like Deja shut up when you first meet her she's very quiet she's like a very gentle kid very wise very smart but yeah very quiet when you first meet her yeah I feel like she's only crazy around us and honestly she's only crazy because I'm kind of crazy and most of the stuff she said she's <laughs> taken it from me like okay, so you're the bad influence then. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then obviously you and your mum are pretty close as well. What was it like kind of working together on this kit as a family? Do you enjoy working with them or you're kind of like... I mean, it's hard to say because, you know, social media as a whole, I've never really done it alone. We've always done it together and I love that. It's just, it's like a dream come true. Obviously at times it's like annoying, but like it's so fun to work with my sister as well because yeah when we did the shoot at the start of the year we were just like listening to music taking photos like it doesn't feel like work yeah when it's yeah something you love and then when you get to do it with people you love it's just even better and you were just overseas you were just in bali right yeah how was that trip oh my god it was so much fun you went to finn's beach club didn't you yeah it's so much fun but the pool is like actually kind of gross it gets murky you can't it, see the bottom. Nice. I mean, I don't think you want to stay in there. Definitely don't, like, put your head under. But you know what's actually funny? I don't know if you know Sophia, like, Arnie Sophia. She like, oh, yeah. in the van. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, she came on my trip, and she's, like, a very big hippie, and the whole time we were joking around with her, like, how she doesn't shower. And she <laughs> went to Finn's. She went to Finn's. Oh, back. no. We came back, and then the morning after, <laughs> she was like, wait, did you guys all shower last night? And we're like, um, yeah. And she was like, I didn't shower. And I was like, what the hell, Sophia? You were in the pool at Finn. <laughs> like, it was just so funny. But, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I really had no expectation of the trip, but everything just worked out so perfectly. Do you have any other, like, crazy travel stories? Because we've spoken about some of our Kentucky experiences. To, like, you know, Latisha <laughs> and I went out for dinner before the shoot. Yeah. And we were talking about like our crazy, you know, Kentucky experiences in Europe. Do you have any that come to mind that you want to share? Honestly, Tiki was kind of crazy, but the only crazy experiences I've had with traveling was like being hung over at the airport. Yes. Hung over oh my the God. God. Like, I'm not a big drinker, but when I was, and like when I was in my party era, I remember I was actually just flying home from Sydney, but. I went out with these girls that I just met the night before. I didn't end up getting home till like 3 a.m., got to the airport at 4, fell asleep, almost missed my flight, got on the flight, and it was just the worst flight of my entire life. And then I was feeling my head. I got an egg on my head because me and the girls, we slept together once we, like, got back before I went to the airport. Like, yeah. we just decided to have a little slumber party. And um, I just myself one of them and... I messaged her. I was like, hey, do you, like, have a... You remember? Like, like yeah. Do you remember? Because I genuinely, like, the trauma, like, shocked it out of my brain. Like, I yeah. didn't remember it. But I could vaguely remember something happened. And then she's like, no. And then a couple days later, she's like, Letitia, I got this huge egg on my head. Oh, my gosh. So never, ever drink the night before you catch a flight. No. And you know what's even worse is turbulence. Like, a flight 
Yes. And then if you get turbulence on a plane after a night of drinking. It's the worst. And you feel like everyone is like looking at you. Yeah. And you know, when you get on a flight, you want to be all cute, like put on a face mask. But it was like, yeah. Genuinely, I just got out the club like two hours ago. <laughs> like, it's like you pull an all nighter and then just like keep going. I think I slept for like one hour. Oh, no. It was the worst. Oh my god, that's again. shocking. Okay, and then Euro Summer. Are you doing? Are you doing a Europe trip? I actually am. <gasps> Where are you going? Okay, tell us everything. Well, I've never been to Europe before. I've been to like England, but I don't think that's considered Europe anymore. No, no, not anymore. But um, like I feel like Euro Summer is like you know all of those places with beautiful yeah. beaches. No, it's England Mykonos. Is it's, not. The countdown is on. I know it's already on. It's thirty three days. My best friend, he's actually Greek, and he has a place in on his like home island and so I wasn't gonna go and then I was like you know what like why not I'm single I'm young and like I want to have fun she's having a hot girl euro summer I'm having a hot girl euro summer and he's already over there and I'm just gonna meet him um and we're gonna go just different places around Greece we're going to Athens Mykonos and then there's like home island well we're also going to Rome yeah because I want to live my eat pray love fantasy Yes. Eat some pasta and then I want to do a pasta making class. Oh my happy. gosh, that's so that's exciting. That's actually all I want to do, but yeah. I'm that's so excited. good. Oh, Rome and like the Trevi Fountain and that'll be so good. It'll be iconic. And Hot Girl Euro Summer, so watch out. Speaking of dating, how is your dating life going? Are you looking for a man in finance? I'm Six not five for a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, I am not dating at the moment. I'm just really enjoying being single yeah to be honest like I'm just I don't know for me it's like a guy has to be a real big addition to my life yeah absolutely I've got everything I want already you know like I've got great friends great family a roof over my head and I love yep. what I do yep. so if a guy comes along it has to be a big absolutely they have to add value otherwise they're yeah, in the bin. big value either so I'm not looking if something happened, it happens, but right now I'm just... You might, like, meet someone on the plane or, like... I'm trying to find someone in my best friend's family so I can marry into his family. Well, and then you'll have the passport. I know. It's true. <laughs> then I can go to Greece whenever I want. Whenever you want. But, yeah, no. The dating life is... I wouldn't say non-existent. I'm just choosing to just not... Choosing peace. Yeah, I'm choosing peace. Yeah. That's it. I just don't want to feel sick every yeah, day Yeah, I know. Life, you know? <laughs> Honestly, having a crush is the worst anyway. Oh, my God. So... I had a crush like, a couple months ago and it literally killed me. It like, ruins your life. It takes over everything. I know. Yeah. It's like, how? Over literally what? Over... I can't. And, and you make off scenarios in your head and then when it actually comes to, like, what the relationship is on face value, it's like that wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Yes. So how it's funny. It's a waste of time. It is. Honestly, live your hot girl Euro summer and yeah. just don't even worry about it. And then if you meet someone along the way, it's an addition. Yeah, exactly. that's it. It's like if it happens, it happens, but I'm not, like, trying to go on a date. Do you feel like your dating life has changed a lot since you kind of grew a following? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's, I'm, like, not on any apps. Do you want to meet someone organically? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It's, it's hard because I've come across a lot of guys who, like, are just... They just want clout. And it's so weird, though, because... Yeah. No, that's so true. I didn't like, even think about that. Like, if you wanted it, like, post your own videos. It's just like... Do the work yourself because but, you want, you need a non-social media boyfriend. I know. They're hard to find. I want someone who follows, like, three people and it's, like, just me. Just me and, and your mom and your sister. <laughs> your mom actually said on the last episode of Friends with Benefits, if you haven't watched that... Go and give that a watch. She said that you guys might be moving overseas. Would you move with them? Are you thinking about it? What's the plan? Well, originally I said no and I was very out of it. I was like, no, I want to live here. But then I realised even if I just moved there for a day and I didn't like it, I could just come back. Exactly. Because you know what? I'm always telling my friends, who cares? Like Australia is always going to be the same. Like the people here are always going to be the same. Everything here is always going to be the same. So I was just like... Why, Why not? So for me, like, home is where the heart is. So I do want to go with them. And I don't want to miss out on Deja growing up. I only made the decision that I was going to move, like, two days ago. So this is an exclusive interview then. I'll well, change my mind by, okay, the, time by the time it comes out. <laughs> well, we don't want to lose you in Australia. But, you know, as long as you come back at some yeah, point. Yeah, we'll definitely come back. So do you have a really bad beauty habit that you can't break? Oh, my gosh. You know what? I was thinking about this before. I was like, I don't have a bad beauty habit. But I actually do. I pick at my skin. So, like when I get a pimple, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
It is so no, I, I do I do it too though. I do I it too. Cannot yeah. not pop it. Like I have to. Yeah. Pop so, it that night. Yeah. I mean it's not the fine. best because it, you know, will damage your skin barrier just a little bit. But I feel like it's everyone's guilty pleasure, right? Yeah. It's just, like, satisfying. Yeah, it is satisfying. Like, it's gross to say it, but it is. Do you have a Roman Empire? What are you currently thinking about? Euro summer. Euro summer, yeah. Like, Hot girl summer. I'm just like, damn, i got to get the best photos. i got to have Have you planned photos. all the outfits yet? No, I actually have a... You know what I did? This is a bit, you know, next level. So I go for my Europe trip last year. I actually had a note in my phone with photos of myself in every outfit for every day. So, you know, when you take a photo and then you can hold down your, like your body image oh, yeah. and then copy it, you can paste it into your notes app and then you can have like a whole list of everything that you want to wear for the whole trip. Wait, that's actually really smart. I think I'm going to do something like that. But my issue is like, how do you pack light? You don't. Are you different? <laughs> I didn't. Pack. I mean, you're not backpacking, though. No. 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 Then you'll be fine. Although the like massive suitcase up all the cobblestones in Europe. Good luck. Yeah. It's a it's a mission, oh. especially in Greece. I mean, my theory is like I'm not really gonna be wearing makeup because like you're in the sun. Exactly. So that just takes out a bit of brow because... setter. A bit of brows. Always gonna yeah. have your brows done, and then just this the Benetton as well. Like, yes. Perfect. I think Benetton is, like, the perfect summer makeup thing because on your cheeks, on your lips, like, you're done. It's so good. So maybe I'll just take the kit. <laughs> I'll just take the kit. No that, that, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the couch and coming and being one of the guests of Friends with Benefit. So if you were to buy the three products individually, it would come to $139, but we've put it in a kit for you guys, which is only $99, and it's available now from Sephora in-store and online. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on the couch Thanks for having me make sure you like and subscribe we'll see you next week bye bye guys <laughs>